Al Lazard, you know, he hasn't really moved at all. You can see there, yeah, there's a bit of an arch to his ADP, but it's gone from 120 up to 110 down to like 125. Going slightly earlier on sleeper than he is on underdog. And I think, you know, with Corey Davis retiring and now there being like, you know, nobody behind Garrett Wilson in the wide receiver room, apart from Alan Lazard, who really stands out. Yes, they brought in McCall Hardman and there's Randall Cobb there. But should Alan Lazard be getting pushed further up the draft boards or have we seen enough to know that Alan Lazard can't really be that dude? I think I'm totally out on Alan Lazard. Um, it was a very different environment last year when he had his best opportunity to ensure he dealt with injuries too. He had 100 targets last year, but that was because he was the only trusted wide receiver on that team for like the first half of the season. I mean, again, we talked about in the Christian Watson discourse. The first nine games were like non-existent for Christian Watson. Uh, Romeo Dobbs, a fourth round rookie, was the only other starting wide receiver on that team, and they literally had no tight ends. So that was his best chance to succeed. And now I actually think maybe there's a some confusion of what the Jets might be this year. I know that they brought in Aaron Rodgers, and so when you bring in a quarterback, you think you're just going to throw more. I think this is going to be heavily reliant on the running backs, heavily reliant. And whether that be the running game or in the passing game, like the Brees Hall, Aaron Rodgers dynamic just makes me think of Aaron Jones and how he can be utilized there. Obviously, it sounds like Dalvin Cook's going to get a, get a lot of run once he returns to practice. And then the real wide receiver usage that we care most about is the inside the 20. It's the red zone work. If you ever go back to the Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Adams connection and pull up on pro football reference, the red zone uh, targets, Devontae Adams is always top five, top three, heck even top one with his connection because it's like they didn't even call plays at times. It was option routes. It was, hey, look at the defense, look at the coverage, and we're going to get you the ball. And sorry, Tom, that's going to be Garrett Wilson over Al Lazard in my mind every single time. I think, yeah, it's it's definitely not a position I would take any kind of aggressive stand on. I think I'm just slightly more open to it because before now, I and others sort of wrote Corey Davis into a role where it was like, okay, well, he's going to play, you know. But as a blocker, about, okay. like I, yeah. I, I think I think that's the vision that they had for Corey Davis and Alan Lazard was like, hey, since this is going to be a heavily running back focused offense, these guys are awesome blockers.